Hey guys, welcome to a new movie review. Um, this is definitely going to be an older film that I'm going to be reviewing for you today. It's called 10 Things I Hate About You. This film came out in the late 90s, and this definitely came out when um, Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles were just starting to make their way into Hollywood. You know, Heath Ledger later worked on The Dark Knight, Julia Stiles later worked on the Bourne series. Um, I think specifically Bourne Supremacy and Bourne um, Ultimatum was ones where she really got um, a lot of attention for in those films. She was also in Silver Linings Playbook recently, in 2012, as Jennifer Lawrence's sister in that movie, for those who are wondering. Um, so in 10 Things I Hate About You Guys, Heath Ledger's character is basically faced with a dare, uh, where he basically gets a lot of money for this dare if he's successful. Um, a popular kid in school wants him to take out a girl that, to many students in the school, is kind of undateable. She's very selective. She's... Um, not really exactly easy to get along with, and so they need somebody to basically date her because there's a strict rule in this girl's house where um, her younger sister, who's you know a lot more popular, a lot more attractive to other students, uh, you know who wants to be a part of more events in school, she isn't allowed to go out and do these big events like prom and homecoming unless her sister is allowed to do that with her too. I guess it's some type of weird household rule that the father has laid out for these two girls. So as a result, you know, this popular guy who wants to date the younger sister of this undateable girl uh, wants Heath Ledger to go out with this girl who's quote-unquote undateable, and that way he'll be able to take this girl out to, you know, events and things like that. Um, but along the way, there's a new kid in school who's played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He starts to have a crush on the undateable girl's younger sister, thus making this much more difficult to pursue for both Heath Ledger's character, this popular kid, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who now wants to have a romantic connection with this girl that this popular guy wants to have, you know, a true relationship with and go out and do things with. Um, and Heath Ledger is still on the stair involving getting this undateable girl to date him so that younger sister could go out and do things. So kind of a complicated little plot there, but that is what this movie is about. So overall, I like this movie, you guys. It definitely was an interesting spin on, you know, romances that develop in high school because, you know, this guy really at first... He's just doing it for the money. He's just, you know, getting paid twenty dollars to a hundred dollars a day as the movie progresses. You know, the the dare gets bigger. He gets paid more for doing certain things, and so after a while, you know, he really starts to have feelings for this girl, and you know, it definitely plays out like your traditional um, high school comedy romance kind of movie. But it's definitely a lot of fun. So overall, for my positives of and negatives of ten things I hate about you. Some of the positives I have is that I thought Heath Ledger's character was very three-dimensional. Um, he definitely understood where he was coming from with certain things, how, you know, he was able to fall in love with this girl after a while. So just a really fun character he got to play here. And for those who obviously saw his role in The Dark Knight, you know that Heath Ledger's a very talented actor. I like the detailed background behind Julia Stiles' character. You definitely, after a while, understand, you know, why she views things the way she does, why she does things the way she does, and why she's kind of an outcast in this high school. So just a lot of fun and interesting things that we learn about her character throughout the movie through her detailed background. The film also has an interesting statement about society's expectations. Um, Julia Stiles' character throughout the movie is always questioning why she's always doing things the way she is, why she's kind of shutting her way, you know, shutting herself out of society a lot. And, you know, I don't want to get into specific things because that may be, um, you know, spoiler details. Uh, but she always says that she hates going uh, with society's expectations. She likes to be her own person. She doesn't always like to do what society is always telling her to do. She just wants to be her own person. And so I like how the film plays off of that. And it's a, kind of interesting to play out as a result. Another positive I have about the movie is the ups and downs of teenage life. I think the film really captures that. It really shows, you know, what exactly is the ups of the teenage life and what's the downs of the teenage life and kind of how it's both the best and the worst time of your life at the same time. The film also captures, you know, the party setting really well. Uh, I would say definitely, you know, towards the end of the film where, you know, things are wrapping up and, you know, all these big school events are happening like homecoming and prom and all that other stuff. 
Um, the film really captures a sense of a party, and it really captures a sense of a bigness and a lot of people attending this big party. So huge thumbs up to that. It really does capture a party setting of those kind of events from school really, really well. For my negatives of the movie, I thought the supporting characters of the movie got a little too much of screen time. Um, I would say the Joseph Gordon-Levitt and the David Krumholtz, I think his name is, you know, the guy from Santa Claus who played Bernard. Um, I thought their characters, they had more screen time than they really needed, because at the core of the movie, it's really about Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger. So if we have all this screen time about David Krumholtz and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, you know, Joseph Gordon-Levitt obviously is a bigger part of the plot than the other guy. Um, but as a result, if you really give the supporting characters too much time and space for the movie you're going to confuse your audience you're going to you know they're going to be confused of who's the lead actor and what whatnot um so as a negative i really think that some of those supporting characters probably could have been pushed off to the side maybe a little bit more and then that could have allowed us more time with the lead characters julia styles and heath ledger um the film also has an artificial kind of feeling to it. One thing that really felt cartoony to me was the father of Julia Stiles. Really felt cartoony after a while. I understand they were trying to go for the comedic, strict father figure that's kind of a caricature of, caricature of himself. But after a while, it just felt a little too cartoony, I, and I just didn't believe the guy after a while. It just was very hard to suspend the disbelief. The film also has a very slow opening. It kind of takes a while to make the point that, you know, Heath Ledger is, you know, getting challenged with this dare to take this girl out. It kind of takes a while to get there. Um, and like I said, like I said, the the David Cromholtz and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, for a while you almost think that you're watching them, like it's a movie going to be about them, but then it completely turns around on, you know, the Heath Ledger and the Julia Stiles character, which I think definitely worked for the better. Um, but like I said, the opening was a little slow and it took a while to get there. I also thought there was too many loose ends with certain characters. There are certain characters that really have no kind of closing arc at all by the time the story ends, and that's a little disappointing. But overall, I really like 10 Things I Hate About You. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's a good movie. I don't think it's quite, you know, 16 Candles or Weird Science kind of quality. Uh, but, you know, for a film that's made in the late 90s like this, that really just wanted to capture, you know, high school life at that time, um, I think it does its job pretty well. Uh, for those who like Keith Ledger or Julia Stiles, I think it's a good watch to see, you know, what their early part of their careers look like and what kind of film work they had. Uh, so if you haven't seen it yet, I'd check it out. It's pretty good. It's called 10 Things I Hate About You.